Well, here we are. We're going to rewind this 48 slot. This is Mizzleplex motor. This is the spray on red insulating varnish. It's got an F class. I'm going to use this stuff actually just to spray the winding when I'm all done. I spray the inside of the stator after I cleaned all the slots out. I took it over to the motor shop and had them burn it out. Then I cleaned it out, just wire brush it. Actually, I kind of use this rotary abrasive wheel on my Makita. Clean it all out. Clean all the burnt stuff out of it. First thing to go in, slot papers. This is a 555 paper, it's called. It's pretty heavyweight stuff. Pretty. They don't have to be curled on the ends or folded or crinkled or anything. Just take it, fold it, start stuffing it in the slot. Just like so. Make sure it just kind of works down in there, sticking out about three eighths of an inch on each end. This is actually a pretty boring part. And this is the new wind. This is going to be wind is going to be 24 wires in hand, one turn. I'm going to wind it for four poles. This is going to lower the voltage down to about 25 volts because as you should already know we just do windings for the Curtis controller. Twelve thirty eight series controller. Probably could have cut a little less width on these papers. the whole stack of them. Putting the papers in the slot will kind of make sure it's cleaned out. They kind of drag you through there. I already took a piece of wire and just uh, laid one pole to kind of get my measurement. With some bailing wire. If because we go one, two, three, four slots, skip four, then start there. So Second slot. Go over. Jump over again a slot. Third slot. So on, so on. And that would be one pole of one phase. This measured out. Ten feet long times four is forty feet. So when we pull out our twenty-four wires, we're going to pull them out forty-five feet long. I'll tell you what—it's no fun when you get to the end and you're short. 
wire just doesn't stretch good. Well, So that's all I'm going to show you of that part of it right now, but see these are just flat papers cut. Usually what I do to measure something like that, kind of just take a piece of paper, lay it in the slot, kind of mark it with a pencil, and that would kind of give you your width of your paper needs to be. And like I said, they're three-eighths, actually three-quarters of an inch longer than the stator. So they're sticking out three-eighths each side. Well, we're going to have another, make another video here when we start laying the coils on this. Because the coils on each pole is taken up eight slots, four slots, skip four, four slots. And 